All right, y'all, let's try it again. Let's see if it's gonna work this time. So as y'all hop in, let me know how the view is. It's looking clear on my end. So I did go ahead and stain this. Hey, Miss Debbie, is it clear for you? It is clear on my iPad. So I went ahead and I stained this. And um, I stained it with my sponge. And then I used the uh, special walnut stain by Midwax. Um, so I'm going to do one stain and then I'm going to paint one red, y'all. Um... Or no, I'm not gonna paint. I'm gonna do it green. We're gonna paint it green. Or white. God, God, gone. I'm gonna do it. Let's. <laughs> I don't know. Goodness. <sighs> Everything's looking good on my end. How's everything looking, ladies? Thank you, Frida. Clear, all right, Melissa, Kayla, thank you, girl. Okay, y'all give me a vote. Green, red, or white? I want this one to be whimsy. This one's going to be more toned down some. So, whatever, if I use a green background, I'm going to put red dots. If I use a red background, I'm going to put green dots. So, what do y'all think? Um, I'm going to do, well, you know what? Let's do green because, let's clear there, Miss Karen. All right. Perfectly clear. All righty. Because red will bleed through with my green. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to paint it green. We're going with green, y'all. So, this is called Kiwi by Apple Barrel. So, we're just going to come. Ooh, and it's a bright color, too. We're just going to come here. We're going to put this green right on top, y'all. This is a really bright, pretty green here. I'm going to be trying to work fast, y'all, because i got a lot of stuff i got to do. A lot of painting I've got to get done to get ready for that live sale. Um, so, probably going to be trying to move pretty quick. Because I want to paint at least, at least three more things today. And then get the rest done tomorrow. So probably, oh, I don't know. I need to get those done tomorrow. Then I need to get out there and, and do some more cutting. Um, I think I'm also gonna put a black and black and white frame on this. Who knows what I'm talking about when I say black and white frame? I want to have different things for all of my ladies that likes farmhouse country style and the ones that likes the whimsy, all the whimsical, whimsical stuff, whimsical, I always say that word wrong. And this is going to be two of the same designs, just painted two different ways. So, we may have to do one more coat on that, but just while that's settling down and that's drying a little bit. Um, oops, sorry, y'all. Y'all can't even see. Let me let that dry first before I start moving it around. <laughs> Tamara says green. Kayla says green. All right. See, see, ladies? Great minds think a lot. Think alike. Pray for Lizzie's mother. The Lizzie and Aaron family need your love and prayers. Oh, Maxine. Y'all be sure to send up some prayers from, for them. All right, I'm going to take my chip brush here, y'all, and I'm going to go over this with a little bit of white um, just to kind of tone it down. That sounds awful. So we're just going to get a little bit of white there, and then we're going to try to get it off. And we're just going to kind of like streak it up a little bit, y'all. Just to tone it down a little bit. Like you're not even hardly going to see this white. And you're probably thinking, well, what's the point of doing it? Just gives it a little bit of extra stuff going on. 
and it kind of calms that brown stain down a little bit. Y'all don't knock this yet, then, y'all. This is going to be unique. Don't knock it till it's completely done. Because right now it could look it could look like a disaster. Alright. So we got this going on. Because believe it or not, red I look really good on that thing. Alright, let's get let me put that over here. Um we're gonna get this a quick little dry. This is gonna be two totally different designs, y'all. I'm trying to paint it all at one time. So this has got to have another coat. Hey ladies, as you come up, make sure you hit that little button down below and sprinkle for me. I would appreciate it. Hey Tanya, hey Miss Sandy, hey Miss Lisa, Miss Charlotte, Miss Nancy, Rachel, Tiffany, Miss Judy. Danny, Amanda, Miss Kathy, Michelle. Hey, ladies. We started out kind of rough, but I think we're getting it. I may even do like a frame around here, but I'm not sure yet. What you mean? Um, halfway done. Wow. Got well, 15 more days. It's not halfway done. Oh, we well, it's halfway. Yeah, it's halfway. Why are you tired of me having to come live every day? <laughs> Your mom ain't making no money. Not yet. Maybe I have some of these ladies on my live seal. Eli's talking about my mama making money. I think he's about like my husband, y'all. My husband thinks when I come live, I'm making money. I'm like, no, I don't be making no money. That Facebook don't pay me to go live. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I wish they did. That would be nice. But no, Facebook don't pay me to go live. My husband is totally blinded when like he has he's clueless when it comes to how facebook and stuff works he's actually kind of clueless when it comes to how my business works i don't think he quite understands and con the concept the concept of like my group and why i do go live and stuff he's totally lost i think some days i'm thinking oh yeah okay he's understanding now i can kind of talk to him a little bit and i'm like did you not, you don't remember me talking to you about this at all? Because he acts like he's lost again. And he may be doing it on purpose so I don't have to, he don't have to listen to me. Because he's not a dumb man. He's a very smart man. And, but when it comes to my business and me trying to talk to him about it, he acts kind of, I don't know. Okay. Second coat on that. And I think, my ladies, this is going to do it. Again, that was the Kiwi by Apple Barrel. Um, oh, Miss Tanya, I'm sorry. He's done went out, but I'll tell him that you said hey. All righty. Let's move on to... Let's move on. Let's get our white on our um, candy canes here. So let's move this one to the side. Let's get that white again. I'm going to use a roller, y'all. For this white. Just because it's going to make it a whole lot faster for me to, um, to paint them. I've already got some white on this roller from where I've used it before. Don't ever be afraid to pick up a roller and roll roll something on there I mean it just makes 
It'll make your life a whole lot easier, y'all. See how fast this is gonna be? By me rolling it. Doo -doo. Easy, easy. getting blurry on me again. Come on, internet. There we go. I'm just going to put a little bit, little bit of white on there, and then I'm going to roll it one more time because it didn't get on there thick enough. There's a clunk. These clumps are gonna drive me insane. These old paint boogers. All right. All right, so there's that going to be good. So I'm going to take my roller. Hey, Miss Sharon. I'll put it back in my Ziploc bag so the next time I need it for white, I can use that same roller because it will not dry out. I keep on going in and out, ladies. I don't know what's going on. Must be just bad connection today. So I do apologize. It's been doing so good lately. Uh, they have selective hearing. Oh, no. Hey, Julie. Miss Frances, how are you ladies doing? All right, we're gonna give that a quick little dry, along with our green here. We're gonna slap our red on there, then we're gonna do some red dots on here. <laughs> and we're pretty much gonna leave that the way it is. I may do the frame around the outside of it, I'm not sure yet. This one's gonna be whimsy. That one's gonna be just plain and kind of toned down, farmhousey kind of look. It's clear for you, Miss Frida. Is it Frida or Freda? I'm so sorry, y'all. If I bond your name, I promise you, I don't do it intentionally. <laughs> I don't do it intentionally. Hey, Miss Tracy, Miss Ginger, how are you ladies doing? That one's dry. So let's get our primary red. Oh, I didn't even dry my, my green there. And we're going to put some the red stripes. Remember, these are not gonna be used like this. They're gonna be used like uh, the letter J in Jesus. Baby White's always to the rescue. You're doing great, Ginger. Well, yay. Frida. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So we're going to turn it like we're going to have it when we're painting it. Um, let me get a paintbrush. Okay. So we're just going to come up here. Um, let's kind of double our line. We're going to double our line there. All right. We're going to come here. I 
might have kind of messed that one up, but we're going to try to fix it right there. Ha! Huh. That done it. Um, we're going to go about right here. Just kind of doing this kind of simple and fast, y'all. I need to put some more, more of an arch on my stripes. There we go. Think I might be getting it now. So there's one. Hey ladies. Hey Teresa. Hey Monica. Hello, Miss Um Michelle Christy. Alright, so we're gonna do that same thing here. Um they might not look exactly alike because my spacing might be different, but that's gonna be okay because it's not like they're going over the same door hanger. Alright, so what I did here is I kind of come here. It made that kind of kind of like that. I'm gonna kind of put it there. Like this line's I think they're thicker than that one over there, but it's okay. Okay. So we're going to let, we're going to dry these really quick because they may have to have another coat. Hey ladies, hey Ashley. And I think I'm going to put some glitter on this one as well. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... Um, where's my paintbrush? Let me dry this, this one real quick, y'all. I want to make sure it's really good and dried. Yo, I see it keeps on going in. Hey, Miranda. Keeps on going in and out. 
So I do apologize. Our connection just might be not the best today. Hey, Tammy. So I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm going to get my white, and I'm just going to kind of streak it in to my red there. Just like that. Y'all see how that is? Just like that. All right, so we're done with that one. Give you kind of an idea on how this is gonna look on that brown. Y'all, that's gonna look pretty on that brown. It really, really is. It is, it is. Hey, Miss Pat. Hey, Miss Kathy. Hey, Miss Mary. Hey, Miss Carla. How are you ladies doing? We're gonna put that red there. Oh man, why did I do that? I could have did that with my circles. Um, yeah, I'm going to use that same brush for my circles. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dry this again and go ahead and put my circles. So I'm just kind of winging it, y'all, coming up with this design as I'm doing it, which is actually the time, the best that, my best work, I think. I guess the easiest for me to create when I'm doing it like this. Big old red circles on this one right here. Get this red off. All right, so we're going to draw some big circles. We're going to kind of Start there. Kind of looks really, really grinchy, doesn't it? That's what I'm thinking of when I'm, I'm seeing this red and this green together. Is I'm thinking of the Grinch. But it's definitely not anything to do with the Grinch. Even though I have two more of this um, sign here, and I'm actually going to paint it with the Grinch's face on there. That's going to be another item that's going to be in the live sale. That dot looks like it's a little bit bigger than the rest of it, rest of them. But it's okay. Okay, let's do, let's do one there. And then we're going to get this one here. Okay. Sorry, y'all, if I'm missing your questions. I'm going to have one look like it's kind of going off of the, the piece there. And let's get this one. 
And I may wind up coming back and putting a black and white frame around this. I think that would be really pretty too. But we'll see. We shall see. And it's kind of looking like I might not have to put another coat on here. That would be very, very nice, y'all, if I didn't have to put another coat. So we want one more right here. And that will do our dots. All right, there's our dots. Pretty, pretty, pretty. You make painting circles look so easy. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Trini, you make the cutest so perfect. You're welcome. Thank you, Miss um, Marie. Regina, it's going good. It's been pretty busy um, trying to get things cut out. And hey, Mary from New Jersey, and ready to get painted for the live sale. I'm stressing a little bit, but I'm going to get it. It's going to be all right. <laughs> I hope so. Um, I'm going to give this a quick little dry and just to see if we need to put one more coat on here or not. <laughs> just a little bit y'all not much just kind of like on the edge just a little bit kind of like go over it but we're getting it more on the edges this will give you a good idea of uh, like rustic style versus whimsy if you don't really know the difference this is the difference. You've got whimsy that's fun and funky and kind of crazy and wild. And then the rustic farmhouse style is more settled and reminds me a lot of like the primitive stuff. Um, so, I mean, it's just, there's a total different look. And this is the same design, everything, just painted differently so you can get a good idea on how you can paint things totally different, y'all. Even out of the same template, the same design. So we're going to have that there. Look how pretty that looks on that brown. I love that, y'all. I mean, if you wanted to do it like a candy cane and put something on there, I mean, you sure, you sure could. But with the saying that I'm doing, this is actually going to be the J for Jesus. Okay, with this one, I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I bought this glitter, y'all. This is called Glitterific Acrylic Paint. Um, it's by Folk Art. I don't think I've ever used this one before. 
So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give it a good try. And I'm just gonna dip a paintbrush down in there. And this is what's gonna, we're gonna put this over. Oh Lord, is it supposed to be that thick? Look how thick that is. That is like super thick. I wonder if it's supposed to be that thick or if I got a bad bottle. It is like super thick, y'all. I might can do it better with my finger. I can, I can brush this on there better with my finger. I don't know if it was supposed to be this thick. Hmm. I mean, cause it's literally like scooping it out. Have any of y'all used this? Was it supposed to be this thick? Knowing me and my look, I probably got a bad bottle. Hey, Grace. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it's definitely thick. That one is very thick, Miss um, Tanya. Yeah, this is my first time buying this one. I bought, like, the, the, um... The extreme glitter and stuff but I've never bought this brand and it is super super thick it's almost like it's got confetti pieces of confetti in there y'all it's really cool though I mean who doesn't like a little bit of finger paint right it's get dirty damn and dirty y'all they are thick okay well, at least I know now that I didn't buy a, just didn't pick, pick up a bad bottle of it. Because that's usually the way my luck is. I will pick up the worst thing there is. But I really like it. Like, I like the different textures in here. It's got different textures. And like I said, it looks like it's got like pieces of confetti. It's really cool. Get off my finger. I'm gonna hold it up just a second so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, that is really cool. Thank you, Cole. You're never too old to finger paint. That is right. Absolutely. Never too old um, finger paint. Especially when you're working with glitter. Alright, so I'm going to show y'all this really quick. Maybe y'all can see it. I'm sorry that the light's so bad. Y'all see how that is? Oh. Uh, can y'all see it? I mean, I know the light is terrible. Oh, y'all can see it. Ha ha. It's terrible on my end. Alright, and I do get I did get some green paint right there. Alright, so y'all, this is gonna be pretty simple. This is gonna go here. Um, and we're gonna do probably a black outline around the candy cane just to make it pop a little bit more because we got the, the red dots here. And um I'm gonna grab my paint marker, y'all, and let me show y'all a little trick that I do when I wanna do the frames, the black and white frames on my door hangers. Let me give it a good little shake. Thank you, Miss Shirley. Y'all are so sweet, thank you so much. I thought it was really cool, too. So I'm gonna use this paint pen. It's just a painter's pen from Walmart. It is the super size one. And I'm gonna come and I'm gonna put a frame around the outside and, or around the edges of this door hanger.
This makes it super, super easy to, to do this, y'all. Grab up a paint pen and have fun with it. Makes it super easy to put that black frame around there. The hardest thing is, is just trying to make sure that you get them all the same width all around. Um, but other than that, this is the easiest way that you can get a black frame on your door hangers. Easy, easy peasy. I'm just pumping it. Hey, June. I love that name. Thank you, Miss Teresa. All right, so we're going to come here. We're going to bring that up just a little bit. We're going to thicken that one up just a tiny bit. I started doing my frames like this a while back on um, flip flops that I did. I had the black and white frame around my flip flops and this was the easiest way to get it, my black frame on there is just to use the paint pen. But we're not done. We're gonna come back and we're gonna put white lines on here. So we're gonna have the white and black stripe frames. So if you ever wonder how to do this, this is the easiest way. <laughs> or it's the easiest way for me. Let me just put it that way. Because some people, they despise a paint pen, y'all. It's like they can't, can't get them to ever work right. And that's totally okay. The only thing you would do is just grab your paintbrush, probably the width that you want your frame part here, and um, use that, the width of your paintbrush, to put your frame. And I am continuously, like, constantly, not continuously, constantly pumping my paint to the tip of my pen. All right, so look at that, if I can pick it up. There's the black frame around there. Hey Robin and Miss Daisy and Miss Charlene. Um, I'm just gonna come back and kind of see my green coming through there. So I'm just kind of coming back and where if I can see that my green coming through, just kind of like hitting it again with another coat. Dun, just like that. All right, so our next step is gonna be getting white and um, we'll be putting white on there. But I'm probably going to leave that to last so we can go ahead and do our wording on this. Which brand of paint pens do you like to use? Uh, I've used the painter's pens from Walmart, y'all, for years and years and years. And I've recently been trying the Posca pens because everybody praises those suckers so much. Um, and I do like them. I like the tips of the Posca pens better because they write smoother on my wood. But, I think I like the actual paint or the ink or whatever better that's in the painter's pen. Does that, I know that's kind of like, not really an answer answer, but um, because the paint in the painter's pen or the Posca pens, to me, cracks more than the painter's pen does. But that's just me. Um, I say you have to kind of buy them and just see which one works best for you and go with it that way. All right. Let me dry this right here real quick. See, this is going to be there. So let's dry this real quick. Thank you so much, Regina. 
Uh, Robin, the trick to not having your ink come out all at once is make sure you're pumping it and not holding it. When you're pumping it, don't like pump it and hold it, like hold it down and pump it. Pump it, bring it up, 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 just like this. Because if you hold it down, that's giving that time, that ink time just to flow through. Um, now, I have had, like, especially with the smaller painter's pen, they will, like, come out like crazy. So, you do have to be super careful with those. And to be honest, I mean, sometimes, y'all, we just, we, you will get a bad pen. All right. I don't know if I'm a black, I'm going to put a black frame around that or not. Let's see. Let me see, y'all. All right, so I guess I am because I'm already doing it. I guess I am. Alright, so there's the black frame around there, so that's going to make that kind of stick out a little bit more. You're so welcome. Alright, so there's that. Um, I think I want to have this kind of... Y'all think... I don't think it needs to be straight. I think this needs to be there, and we put Jesus here, and I'm going to use... Um, I think I'm going to use a piece of chalk to, or no, because that chalk, it eats up my paint pen. I'm going to use a pencil. Ooh, kind of nervous, y'all. So, with this brown, y'all, I'm going to put the same. Um, I may do it. If I do a frame around here, y'all, it's probably going to be green. And do green and white. But I'm not sure yet. So, we may, I may finish that one tomorrow with y'all. Um... Where's my pencil? If I can find a pencil, we're going to hand letter some. Y'all, it's been a long time since I did any kind of hand lettering. I'm a little bit nervous about doing it on this door hanger. If I can find a pencil, y'all, may not can find a date on pencil. Goodness. Y'all give me a minute. Here we go. So, here's my thing that I did. So, I think I'm going to put it kind of sideways like this and we're gonna go you know what hey miss tammy let's <laughs> let's do it with a piece of chalk if i can find a piece all right like i'm gonna do it with chalk then i'm gonna like erase it off all right so let's go we're going to do Jesus. All right, Jesus. And I wanted to kind of bring it straight. See, that's why I needed to use this. That's why I needed to use chalk. So I want my J or my candy cane, candy cane to be kind of crooked, but then I want my words to be straight. Does that even make sense, y'all? All right. So, we're going to make this straight. And I'm going to do Jesus bigger than any than all the rest of the words. So, Jesus. Nope. I want to add a real pretty bow up there on the top, so I need to bring that down. <laughs> I promise you, we're going to get it, y'all. Y'all just hang tight. Hang tight with me. I'm leaving. All right, so, because I want my bow, this is this is just the way it is, y'all. Trying to figure out exactly how I want things. All right, so I'm going to put my bow here, So or here. So, ribbon's going to be coming about down here. So, let's put Jesus here. So, we're going to do... Jesus here. Jesus. 
is they want to do the then we're going to do raisin that I have that little so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do season here all right we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do season or I need to come down I think I need to come down with season. We about got it, y'all. I promise. Y'all just hold tight. We getting it. Practice on your table. Now I can't. Well, the reason I'm not practicing on my table is because I've got to have this exact spacing. So let's do the right here. All right. So now we can do for the season. There we go. Ha ha. I think we got it, y'all. Now, I am going to be using a Posca pen for this part. And I may even use like some red. Do I have a green? If I've got a green, we're going to mix these colors up. Um Ah, I do got a green, and it's a darker green, so you'll be able to see it. Um, and I do got a red. We, we are set, y'all. We are set. Okay. So we're going to start off. You see how that just splurged out or spilled out? And it's probably because I shook it. You see, it's still coming, still coming. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a paper towel, and I'm going to soak all of that up. We're going to start over. But always, always pump it. I don't know if I'm going to use this one or not because this, this one might be a bad one. Always pump it on something else. I'm a little bit scared to use this one else. Okay, we're going to try it, y'all. All right, so we're going to do... And hand lettering is pretty slow, y'all. Um, can y'all see this? I don't know if y'all can see this. I'm going to come this way. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit. I hate to even touch it because... And I know it's going to be upside down for a minute, y'all. But it should be the right way. Or I didn't flip it, did I? I think I flipped it the last time. Yeah, so let me flip it for y'all so y'all can see it. The correct way. I hate to mess with it so because I don't want it to mess anything up. Okay. All right. Okay, I think that's good for y'all. We're going to do Jesus. Here, we're gonna bring it out this way. Yeah, I think this, I think this paint pen's about had it. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna mess this up by using a bad paint pen, y'all. So let me switch out my paint pens. Lord knows, do I have another black? Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Robin. Oh, thank you so much, Renee. Hey, Christine. Oh, Christina and Rhonda and Keisha. How are you ladies doing? All right. So maybe this one's going to work a little bit better. All right. And I do want to, and I, I'm sorry, y'all. I kind of have to get over it while I'm doing it. Now, let me try to straighten this up. I didn't really want that line to be that thick, but that paint pen had left like little marks on it. All right, so then we got our U. This one kind of messing up too. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. You know, practice might get called off. You have practice today. messing up. Maybe it's, maybe it's because I haven't used them in a while. I don't know. Didn't somebody sh tell me, I think at one time you could, I think somebody showed me that you could. I'm going to take the tip out and I'm going to flip it over y'all and we're going to see if that helps at all. Because it is like really messing my my words up to where they're not smooth. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, this is aggravating. These paint pens are messed up. So I see, yeah, it just depends. <laughs> depends on the actual paint pen that you get. I don't think it really matters what name brand. Um, because I think they all have some bad ones. And these two are acting crazy. Oh, thank you, Miss Sandy. I have really got to work. Yes, Miss Sandy, you will love being able just to kind of write on your door hangers and be proud of them because they're your actual, your actual lettering. All right, so I'm going to kind of wipe this. Ooh, I have black paint on my hand. I'm going to kind of wipe that off a little bit. Let's do. Let's see about this green, y'all. Let me shake it up real good. Just to kind of mix it up. We'll see how it goes. I mean, if I have to do it with a...
Okay, I think I like that. I think I like that green. And then we're gonna do, see these paint pens are not working. They are not working at all. You know what? I'm fixing, the, these paint pens are not working. I'm fixing, I think I've got a, I'm pretty sure here we go. I got a black one, black painter's pen, y'all, so we'll see. Thank you, Deetra. So we're going to try this one, the black one from Walmart, the painter's pen from Walmart. Okay. We got to pump it to get get it going because it, it ain't been used. And it's new, so it should work good. All right, so here we go. We're going to try it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. All right, so this is it so far. So, oops, sorry. Ugh. So Jesus is the reason. We're going to do reason in green. Any of the fonts that's the um, regular font, we're going to do in the green. <coughs> I'm going to try to wipe. I forget I've got black on my hands. Just gonna kind of wipe that off just a little bit. Let me get that black off because I got some black there. There we go. I could practice till the cows come home and would never be as pretty as your handwriting. Oh, Miss um, Renee, thank you so much. With that paint pen, will it not run when you? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Actually, I trust the painter's pen not to run more than I do the Posca pens because I have used these painter pens for seven and a half years, y'all, and I've never had an issue with them running. Um, now, you don't want to sit there and hold your sealant, like hold your spray, like right here. You always want to make sure you're off from it before you spray in it. And if you're rolling it, this is the trick that I do when, I, when I've got to roll it. I will take my spray and I will put a very light coat over what I know is done with the paint pen. And then when you roll it, it, will, it won't hurt it. But if you roll it, like after I get done with this one, 10 minutes later, if I pick up the roller and roll it on here, this is going to smear. Um, I don't know why it does, but it, it just does.
My head's not in the way, is it? Okay, is the reason. Then we're going to do four. And my green, I'm going to go over again once it's completely dried. So we can bring that four back this way. So we can go here. do that just to make it more funkier <coughs> love those colors in the wording oh thank you miss sandy all right so so since this is taking a little bit longer y'all i will finish the other one tomorrow which I don't know if y'all would want to see me like hand letter the same saying all over again. I mean, that would probably be a little bit boring to you. So y'all just let me know. Okay, four. And then we're going to do the. When does your membership start back up? Miss Dietrich, it starts back up. Um, I will have it open for one day on Black Friday for new members. Thank you, Natalie. And after Black Friday, it won't be back open until uh, February the 25th. All right, for the season. Thank you, Miss Teresa. Oh, I meant to get some of that chalk off. It just seems like chalk kind of like dries out my paint pen and it makes it to where my it don't go on there as smoothly that's why I was kind of hesitant about using chalk what color green paint did you use it was the um the kiwi or the kiwi yeah it was kiwi by apple barrel All right, so season, we're going to do. Yeah, I was. I was so nervous about doing this with hand lettering. I came so, like, so, so close to, I can't see myself, so close to um, making a stencil on my Cricut for this because it's been a while since I've actually hand lettered. Oh, look at the ladybug. I wonder if that means I got some good luck coming. Lord, I need it. I 
but I'm glad now that I, I went ahead and did it. Just gonna do that straight down. Okay. All right, now I do see where like my green, I've got to go back over some. Thank you, Miss Tanya. Yeah, I'm excited about the stain one too. Um, I've seen some around here as well. I sure need some good luck as well. <laughs> yeah, that one just landed. Did y'all see it land? It's like right there. Oh, it's oh goodness, I flipped it over. I didn't mean to do that little ladybug. Let me let them out. Or maybe we're gonna keep them, so then it might make me have good luck. Or maybe since I set them free, it'll bring me good luck. <laughs> All right. Um, are you going to have a template for these? Miss Cindy, I'm not sure yet. Probably so, though. How do you make your stencils? What kind of paper do you use? Miss Sherry, um, you talking about, like, my vinyl stencil stencils? So, let me show y'all real quick. This is it. We're gonna glue. Y'all, when I've got my camera flipped, it's, it has me all confused. Um... I'm probably going to put some white highlights in my letters because uh, I think it's just going to pull it out. I'm going to have to go over my green one more time. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I like to take my, and I think I put a little bit more, too much, and I, I will spread it on my with my fingers y'all on here because it kind of helps when it ain't so thick in one spot it helps to dry time so we're gonna spread that sucker on there all right so did i i had it like this didn't i i had it kind of crooked i had it kind of crooked it didn't i there we go all right <coughs> Off a little bit. There we go. All right. So now there's that, and I just used my Gorilla wood glue, y'all. I did what? I did go and buy me some new ones, so I didn't have to use a paintbrush. Thank you, Miss Dietra. You will love the template. Absolutely stunning. Great job. Thank you so much, Renee and Kendra. Thank y'all, Miss Faye. All right. So we're gonna come. We're gonna put the white frame around here um so i'm gonna find now being that my black frame is not thick thick you do not want big old thick juicy white lines on here big juicy white lines you don't want juicy white lines y'all so um i'm gonna use this Three eighths angle brush right here. And I'm just gonna grab up my Waverly chalk paint because it's pretty thick. Because I really don't wanna have to put another coat. I don't wanna have to do two coats, but I may have to do two coats. You never know. I'm gonna kinda start here. And then I'm just going to come and start putting the white lines. Going around my frame here.
And I kind of got mine kind of close, y'all. Y'all, I was going to have this in my live sale, but I kind of want to keep it now. <laughs> but I've got to have it in my live sale so, so I can have, have enough stuff. I might have to make me one. I kind of like it. I actually really do like it. Maybe I'm going to put one like right there because it would have one there. And let's put the last one right there. All right, so I'm not even, I don't know. that Those might have to have one more coat, y'all. Because they look kind of, so can y'all see it? Uh, all right, so I know I'm going to go over the words one more time. I'm probably going to thicken those up, y'all. I'm probably going to thicken it up so you can see it a little bit better. It is Sunday, Miss Cindy. Oh, am I frozen for y'all? Here we go. It's like my blow dryer made it blurry. <laughs> uh, this thing is going to be $10 um, for shipping. do today um I'm probably seriously I probably just I probably just finish this one because it's gonna be it's probably gonna be about the same thing except um we're gonna have you know we have the, the words here just exactly like and I may do I may I'm probably gonna do like a a dark emerald green or something and white around the frame on this one just because I think it'll kind of go better um, but that's it I'm gonna do my work my letters a little bit bigger put the white highlights in my letters um, especially go over the green and probably go over this black one the white one more time because it really needs to go over it one more time and then that's gonna do it for this design let me grab one of my brushes here I'm going to I got to put more paint in this thing. Um Let's see. I'm going to come and just put some white highlights kind of like in the right there. Probably going to do some every now and then. Kind of like that. Um, I'm going to pick up a dot. We're going to go, we're just going to do some like dot, dot, dot there. Let's do a dot, a dot, dot, dot there. Let's do a dot, dot, dot there. All right, maybe down here too. All right, that's all folks. Um. Thank you, Miss Grace. Hey, Miss Wendy. So again, I'm gonna go over my letters. 
I'm going to go over or put, after I make them thicker, I'm going to put my white in there and that's going to make the letters pop, the words pop a little bit more. Um, I've got to go around my white, around my frame one more time. And that's it. When I put um, my wire hanger, I'm going to have a really pretty bow on the top. And it's going to be a real funky, fluffy bow, y'all. It's not going to be no little, little bow. But I'm going to just get y'all kind of close so y'all kind of see while I'm saying I've got to go over that green. But Jesus is the, sorry y'all, is the reason for, the reason for the season. Can y'all see it? Okay. All right. So y'all have a great day. How do you clean liquid gold out of your paintbrush? Lindsay, you have to use paint thinner. You've got to use a paint thinner. I have this right here. It's the low odor um, thinner that I picked up from Walmart. I kind of just let it sit in there. Um, mine's gotten pretty dirty, so now I have to use my other stuff as well. I have to show you a picture of it. I can't, I can't remember the name of it. Message me. Message me so I can send you a... Um, so I can send you a a picture of it, and I won't forget. So message me uh, about the paint thinners. I mean, about the cleaning the brushes. All right. So ladies, thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all sticking with me. I will show y'all um, the other one when I have it done. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I will see y'all again tomorrow. I'm probably going to paint... Maybe a Rudolph or either a Nutcracker. Not sure yet. So, y'all enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you later. And don't forget to hit that little, that little button. Sprinkle for me. Thanks, ladies.